Hello, I'm Shirley and welcome to my channel. Um, today I thought I would talk about the amaryllis flowers. Um, I wanted to talk about their care and how we can all grow them in our own homes. They're such beautiful flowers. See you in the video. Well, amaryllis, what can I say? These are superb beautiful plants um, they're just so wonderful they're so tall they're majestic and they are there you can't miss them when you walk through a room and just recently I've started to have a little collection of my own and I thought I'd talk about them to to show you in case you'd like to do it um, if you don't know anything about them let's uh, begin well first of all they come from the Andes in the mountains. Can you imagine <laughs> these wonderful flowers? And they're all different colours. Different colours, some of them are even bigger flower heads than, than the ones you can see here now. Um, I'm a bit hot in this uh, room today, so if I start using my fan, please forgive me. I can't put an electric fan on, you won't hear me speak. So, basically, they are flowers that come from bulbs. The bulbs are quite big and um, you store them in a dark place. And when you're ready to start your amaryllis, you take them out of dormancy <clears throat> and place them in soil with perlite. And you allow the top of the bulb quite a bit of the top of the bulb to be revealed um, and then you water them as if you were watering a normal plant but around the outside not directly on the bulb um, over time I don't know two weeks maybe less they actually start to grow their roots inside the soil and once that happens you'll start to see the tops of the leaves and the stalk um, the stalk grows and they grow fast, mighty fast. The stalk is hollow. There are some varieties I think that have a solid stalk, but generally they're a hollow stalk and they bring all their water and nutrients right up. And then you get this bulb, which is quite big, like that, start to develop. As the bulb develops, so then out come like a breakage at the top and you get about four to six I have actually had eight little bulbs from that one bulb starting to emerge as they emerge so they come like a trumpet and on a stick and that little bulb there starts to go from here to here so you actually have them like this and as that happens so those little bulbs get bigger and bigger until eventually out comes the flowers. While all this is happening, these leaves are shooting up beside it. And you generally get a second stalk very slowly coming up from the bottom. You can have indoor or outdoor amaryllis. And of course this is indoor. And each one has to have a specific um, you know different ways of looking after them the temperatures conditions and all of this so the indoor ones are as i've said and they last quite a while they last three weeks four weeks and then the flowers start to wither just as you imagine anything to, to wither and then as that withers so the next stalk is racing up beside it to take over so you cut your first stalk at the base and that second stalk is there and it has just the same amount of flowers, quite beautiful. So um, these leaves <clears throat> are then the what is what you're left with. And the leaves last for quite a while, um, just like a plant, you can just put them anywhere in the house. Um, and then after that, they will die down. Once that happens, then you have, you are left with your bulb again. And it's important then that you, um, do certain things um, but this one here at the moment 
we were given this um, as a complimentary gift. Uh, we ordered several and I think one of them they didn't have, so they bought me this one. And I just love her, she's just so beautiful. I, she's either called Cherry Blossom, because I've been trying to identify her, Cherry Blossom or um, Garden Pink. It's very difficult to tell which she is, but you can see how absolutely beautiful she is. And besides me, you should be able to see one of a couple of the others that I've had. One is a uh, red lion. She's quite big. She was the first one that I had ever and flowered, and she was just beautiful. It was like um, Christmas time. I think I I put her, uh, I brought her out before Christmas and around Christmas she bloomed, and it was just beautiful. Um, you know, Christmas, red, everything red. And she was just lovely. And then later on, uh, we started um, our other bulb and she is called, just let me think, Star of Holland. And she was quite magnificent. She had eight little bulbs on every bulb head. Um, and it was just fantastic, beautiful, beautiful display. And as I said, the first flowering season session is about two to three weeks but then the next one comes on so you've got quite a few weeks there of flowers in your home and the beauty of this is that you can start them at virtually any time there um, a lot of them their preferred time is november december to start and then you would have flowers december january february that's what we did this one we started a bit later just look at this but when they have finished and they have died down, you will be left with the bulb. And the bulbs are different sizes. Um, this is quite a small one. Uh, this is actually quite huge. I'm just not sure I can lift this to see if you can actually see inside. I'm not sure if you can. I can't take it out. But it is big. I mean... It's like that, huge. And the others were quite large as well, the um, Star of Holland and the Red Lion. Um, anyway, I've got these, which I'm going to start uh, around Christmas time. And these are called Belladonna. And she is a beautiful plant. I think I'm gonna put a picture here somewhere to show you. Um, so I've got three of these, so I'm really looking forward to doing that later on in the year. But when this one dies down, um, as I say, you, you cut off all the greenery and you don't water it. Then when it's dried out, you then place it in a very dark place. It's got to be dry and it's got to be in a dark place for months until it's time for you to do it again. So if you try to keep the timing more or less the same, you're giving the plant the months of rest that it needs before it starts the months of growth and rooting and, and flowering for you. Um, but I just think that this is a wonderful addition to anyone's collection. And especially during those winter months when everything is dark and dismal, you can have your own almost springtime. It's just beautiful and you can have as many as you want can't you just as many as you feel that you can store i've got these in a bag at the moment just to to show you um that obviously is the rooting area this is going to be the flower this is quite small so she might not have too many flowers i just don't know i've never done this one before either so that's all going to be new for me for the future for a thought if you'd like to know about amaryllis this is the story of the amaryllis it's just lovely um, and while um, I've got you, I was going to do a quick update on my streptocarpus from last year. This was the one I had. She started flowering now. Um, she's absolutely beautiful. She's carnival. And um, she's already got quite a few buds. She's got a couple of flowers starting. And she's got buds under here coming up. Absolutely lovely. So she will be quite a show soon. And remember, the streptocarpus, they go on. Um, and she's going to go on through till probably the end of October. And then she'll just stop. Just stop. And it's so sad when they stop because you just see them all through the year flowering for you on your windowsill or in a shady place. You don't want direct sun for goodness sake, no. 
Um, but anyway, um, she's, she was the first one I ever had and she's coming up again. A bit like the African violets really, they're, they're so reliable. They, so long as you water them regularly, you don't have a problem and they just keep on flowering. These though were the babies from last year. Um, they didn't have flowers last year, so I'm just showing you now. Um, this one is Harlequin Damsel, and she is gorgeous. You can see all those little speckles and markings on the flowers, and she's just a small plant, but she's already got the little baby buds, look like little seahorses. They rear up like this, and then they go up on their stalk, and then they flower for you, and they're just so beautiful. And she's got some more down here. So that one is lovely. This one is Titania. She's gorgeous. She's got white and a kind of purple. She's very striking. And she has little buds coming up as well. I don't know if you can see little buds, like little seahorses. Just lovely. So these were my babies. They had no flowers last year. They were just little babies. And then this one hasn't flowered yet, but you can see those buds. Can you see those buds? So she's going to flower very soon. She's, oh, sorry, this is Harlequin Blue. She's actually a yellow with like a purpley colored, sorry. That's Alexa, my, my machine. <laughs> She reminds me so many things. It's so good to have her, but it, I always forget she's going to speak when I'm filming. The, this is Harlequin Blue, and this one is Harlequin Damsel. That's right. This is Damsel, and this is the Blue. Um, I mean, I can show you a little picture, but we'll put a, probably a, a bigger picture up beside me here so you can see. She's quite lovely. She's got a lot of yellow in her. So she's lovely. I'm really happy about this because I had them last year. I didn't get any flowers and oh, I was so eager for the flowers, but this year I have them. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. Um, I really wanted to tell you about these beauties. They're just wonderful. And a quick update on the streptococcus. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you could like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it. We are getting started again. We had a, a big gap because of some personal problems to do with a fire that took place in my home. Uh, for 10 months, I couldn't do any recording. Um, we weren't even in our home. Now it's a getting better uh, time of life for us. We're coming back and the house is getting cleaned up. Everything is getting back. I'm home, oh thank God. And um, so now I'm, I'm, I'm doing some more videos. So um, hope to see you in the new videos to come after the big gap that we had, the garden got terribly overgrown, we've had to do lots of work, <laughs> the mower melted in the fire, oh god, it's terrible. Anyway, everything's just great now, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the Amarillo today. Bye!